bless you indeed. This is Pablo Jones with Voice Here, Prophetic Voices. Um, it's a pleasure to be able to bring another word to you today. Um, today, I want to talk to you about a fast. Let's pray first. Father, in the name and in the will of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for everything, Abba Father. Lord, we give you the glory. Ooh, yum and the praise. Holy Spirit, we thank you for your presence, Lord. Let Moses said he don't want to go without your presence. Father, we thank you that your presence is here to confirm your word, Lord. Confirm it with fire and power. So, Holy Spirit, I surrender to your will and to what you want me to say, Lord. I decree your kingdom come and your will be done. Lord, bless the listener and the hearer. Let those who have ears to hear, hear and eyes to see, see what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to, to his church. So, Father, touch everyone. And may you fill them, O oh Lord God Almighty, with understanding, revelation, and knowledge. And also wisdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Right. <clears throat> uh, this fast today is about testing God's faith, faithfulness. Testing his faithfulness. You see, right now where you are, you, you, you need to do something you haven't done before to get to that place you haven't been yet. Oh, somebody, you have to do something you haven't done before to get to that place you haven't been yet. You know, Malachi 3, 10 says, bring you all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in mine house and proof that word proof or test me now herewith saith the Lord of hosts if I will not open to you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it now test I'm sure that there are many other scriptures but we're going to look at this one um In this specific um, passage, Malachi 3 and 10. So it is okay to test God for a righteous cause, to test his faithfulness. Not test him in sin and, and, and rebellion, but test him for a righteous cause. God is always on the line, ready to show himself strong. He's a powerful God. He's the all-knowing God, the all-seeing God, the I am that I am. Woo! The I am that I am. He who was, who is, and who is to come. Holy, worthy, sovereign, sovereign, sovereign Lord Almighty, as Samson called him. He's sovereign, omnipotent, omnipresent, the only wise God. Listen. The Lord has instructed me to do this. And there are many of you behind the scenes with great faith. How often are you, oh Lord, how am I going to pay this? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? Even if a family member needs healing, can force you if the Holy Spirit leads you to do it. Yeah, please. Join us on this fast for 60 days. And in this 60 days, what you're going to do, if a bill comes in, you take one of the scriptures or take all the scriptures and say, just say this, my God provides all of my needs through his riches and glory. God, you're not a man that you should lie. 
Oh, Lord, for you know your plans for me of good and not evil, to prosper me and give me an expected end. Just use the scripture. Don't go, oh, Lord, you know I need to pray. Oh, for, no, just use those scriptures. That's it. And your whole point is to be praying for others. Praying for, for, for lost souls. Praying for salvation. Praying for healing of the nations. Pray that God will, 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 will show himself strong on the earth where there's so much wickedness and evil going on now. That God will break out in a way like the earth I've never seen before. Your heart now in these 60 days is to deny yourself to pick up your cross and follow Jesus Christ. I guarantee you with the approval of the Holy Spirit that after this fast, God, write, I want you to write a list. If it is 50 pages long, so be it. God ain't intimidated. If it is 15 books, three cars, four lorries, two buses and five trains, write it. Listen, God will prove to you his faithfulness. Am I sitting here and say he's going to meet all their needs? <laughs> God forbid, not at all. I'm, I, I'm not saying that. Can he meet all those needs in one go? Of course he can right now. What I'm saying, God is going to prove his faithfulness. Look, imagine when the bills come, any bills come in before you, just say, oh my God, shall supply all, shall supply all of my needs. God, you're not a man that you should like. You are not a man that you should like. You, that's all you're saying. Don't go into no more detail, nothing. God is going to prove himself strong. Not only that, at the end of this fast, you're not going to believe what God has done with that faith. I tell you something now. You are going to see blind eyes open, the deaf hear, the lame walk, the cripple be made straight, him who got AIDS, HIV be made pure. I'm telling you, your faith is going to soar like, e like the eagle. Your faith is going to be up there. By the way, these glasses don't have any medicine in it, so it's just like fashion. And this is prophetic as the Lord, I felt the Lord instructed me to buy them a while back. He told me I was giving you new eyes, new eyes to see. You are going to see that which you haven't seen before. And these, I couldn't buy ears to give you a demonstration of ears. But you're going to hear that which you haven't heard before. Your faith, your faith, your faith is going to be mountain moving faith because you have tested God's faithfulness. You see, often when we go and we pray about our circumstances, we are nagging, we are complaining. We are ungrateful, we are unthankful. Now on this journey, you are forgetting yourself. You're denying yourself. You're picking up the cross and you are following Jesus for 60 days and testing God's faithfulness. Let me tell you what, let me show you what I'm talking about. That, 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 that we get somewhere in this. Now Matthew, 20, Matthew 6, 27 to 29 says, which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for Raymond? Consider the lilies of the field, how, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you? Listen to the end. O oh, ye of little faith. Now, we are going to God about that issue of little faith. That's the issue we are taking to God. And in this fast, we're showing the Lord, <laughs> we are proving his word that he is who he say he is and that he really is, can see what need it is that you, that, 
that you are believing him for, what it is you need to be met. That's what we're taking before him. Okay? You are showing him that he is who he says he is. And that he knows what time, what date, what hour the bill needs to come out. Whatever it is. What? He knows the, the situation of healing for your loved one. Healing, I'm healing, I'm hearing in the spirit, healing. Men and women of God, God always want to take us to another level. There's more, there's always more. There's more, there's always more. Think of it. The Bible talks about hell, we're going to switch for two seconds. Well, a bit more. About the bottomless pit. Now bottomless means there's no end. So if there's no end to a bottomless pit. How much more is it in God? How much more is it in God? How much more ream beyond ream. Beyond ream. Beyond ream. Beyond deepness. Beyond depth. Beyond width. In God. For those of you. For who? Psalm 107, Psalm 107, 20, he sent his word and healed it. For those of you who have been stuck, who are believing God, for over, abundant, and above, this is the word of the Lord to you. Jump on this, because God is going to do the unexpected. You are, listen, your testimony is not only going to be written on this, on, 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 on this ministry's page. Your testimony is going to be a testimony to many generations to come. Should the earth tarry or should the earth remain that long, your testimony is going to be written in heaven. People of God, this is a specific divine instruction the Lord gave me. This is a specific. Now Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. Look, I can do this thing alone. It's not about me, you see. It's about the people of God. The gifts that God put in me, is they're not for me, they're for you. They're for you. Look, study sheep. How they're, how they're raised and, they, and, and they, they care for sheep in the Middle East. Sheep have a shepherd. Why shepherds watch their flock by night? Sheep have a shepherd. I glory in Jesus Christ and he will not share his glory and I'm not tampering with God's glory. And I take, and I, there's no glory. There's nothing in it for me. I'm just being obedient to what the Lord said. To obey is better than to sacrifice. When you jump on this fast, write down the day and the time. By the grace of God, we will pray in agreement, Matthew 18, 19. And we will release God's grace and favor to tarry the full 60 days. You hold in those scriptures. After the fast, you're going to be able to trust God, believe me. For anything, they will listen. When you prove God's faithful and it's impossible to please him without faith and you trust, look, you know what, I mention it, look, you know, well, according to your word, then you prove it. Oh, oh, listen, God loves a challenge from his children. You challenge him for righteous cause in his faithfulness. Oh boy, be prepared for the result. He will answer you over abundant and above all you can think or imagine it's impossible to please god without faith the just shall walk by faith are you a just person you are you contented with where you are listen people of god you can never as a child of god and a holy spirit filled believer you, part of your character is to be restless if you're on a job you're supposed to be restless 
If you got a ministry, you're supposed to be restless because when you get restless, it means that, oh, I can't stay here. There gotta be more. There's that realm open for enlargement. For, 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 you're widening your states. No, there gotta be more. No, no. I, oh, should we get another building or should we get another ministry down the you, When you get that restless spirit from God, not that, not that the world gives, but from the Holy Spirit, when he puts that thing in you, oh, that spirit. So you see, there's some people that people say, oh, this person miserable. No. Man, that's a gift. That's a gift. You know, that, that thing that gets you to that point, oh, no, 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 you know something? I don't like, well, this car was here now, well, 10 years, oh, time for new car, ah, no, no, no. Uh, listen, people of God, I ain't come to badger you. I ain't come to do like they done many years back and put you over my knees with a leather strap and flog your behinds. I'm simply obeying the word of the Lord. Step out in faith. Whatever the Lord tells you to do, do it. Step out in faith. Before you, you, you come on this fast, I call it fast, meaning abstaining from. Before you come on this fast, write your bills. Be wise. I'm telling you what to do. Cover every area of bills because these are things that would need to be paid. You've got transportation, car, protection of your car vehicle everything you know family you got family yes you know put be wise in what you put may cover these areas because you got loved ones need who that needs to be saved put everything you are listen you are walking on water the somebody you are walking on water the lord just said to me you are walking on water Walking on water. I just heard it in the outer ear. Normally when I hear, hear it in the outer ear, it's from the angel of the living God. If you hear the still voice from the inside, it's the Holy Spirit. That still voice. I just heard it from the outer ear. Walking. You'll be walking on water. Walking on water. You know, this is a faith love ministry to the glory of Jesus Christ. I've just been an overseer. The Lord told me, people who come under this ministry, two things they will learn, for sure. To walk by faith. And love. And love. And love. Spirit of prophecy. If you feel a spirit of prophecy. Oh yes, there's someone behind the scenes now saying, really concerned. Oh, oh, but, but you have got some really deep concerns. It's a female. You've got some really deep concerns about going on this on this fast because you know it's like losing control. And you and you you like to be in control. Hey. You ain't losing control. Guess why? Because Jesus will be holding your hand. You're not going to fall. He's holding your hand. And he's standing at your right hand saying, fear not. It is well. Because he's taking you. He wants to take you to a place in him. That you never knew. A place in him. That you've never been to. A place in him. That you've never been thought. In your local churches. And wherever you, 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 you attend. He wants to take you. To that another realm. 
As you can see today on the bed is silver. And here's what the Lord is saying to those of you who are stepping out on this fast. He says to you, the gold and the silver is mine. Oh, somebody receive it. The gold and the silver is mine, says the Lord. Actually, he just told me the silver, I didn't have gold. He just reminded me, oh, I've got a gold cap. We're talking about not the cap, gold as in gold. So the gold and the silver is mine, says the Spirit of the living God. Yes, and he's saying, now I own a thousand, he, he own a thousand cattle on a hill. He's saying, I'm Jeho I'm, I own a thousand cattle on a hill. I own Jehovah Jireh, your provider. Elohim, Adonai, El Shaddai. No good thing will I withhold from you who walk uprightly. I am a loving father. Have I thus far forsaken you? Have I thus far abandoned you? Have I thus far left you to wander? Haven't I always been with you? Even from the beginning and before? Haven't I clothed thee? Haven't I fed thee? Didn't I take thee and put a clean, fresh raiment upon thee and sandals upon your feet? Indeed, I am doing a new thing now. I'm a God of new beginnings, is the Spirit of the Lord. And all things have passed away. Yes, you have read it and you have heard it and you have heard it. And you have said in your hearts, this has become like a stuck record. Because I'm still the same place. I have said all things are possible to those who believe. And yes, I can confirm it's impossible to please me without faith. Have I, have I called you to do something? That's too hard for you to do. Haven't I said that my grace is enough? Haven't I said to lean not unto your own understanding? In all your ways acknowledge me and let me direct your path. Haven't I sent my word to deliver you, to restore you, and to make anew? And to show you that which is to come. Haven't I prepared, prepared a place for you? Those who walk by faith shall see greater, greater things. For I am raising a people that shall smell, that shall breathe, that shall eat, that shall live and only know faith in their God. In this time that you are living in, in these pernious times, faith shall be your deliverer. Faith shall be the rod in thine hand. Faith shall be your keeper. 
for I am faithful and I do not break nor alter my word. It is as I have said and so shall it be. I have so much to say. There's so much I want to do. But who can I send? I'm opening doors for you. I am showing you clearly my heart towers you. I'm spelling it out at a rate that you can understand by my spirit. That which was, which is, and which is to come. I have said in my word, in these last days I will keep you. I will sustain you. I will provide all of your needs. Should your trust be in man? Should your trust be in man-made systems? Should your trust be in the cares of this world? I have said, look up to me. Keep your focus and your gaze upon me. Because only I am your provider. I have so much to say, says the Lord. I have so, so much to say. But are you listening to what I am saying? Are you paying attention to what I am saying? Or are you chewing whilst I'm in the middle of the class? Are you chewing? Are you filing your nails? Are you picking your teeth? When I have come to get you out of that place of bondage, when I have come to set your bands loose, are you, are you gazing in, in mid-air, says the Spirit of the living God? Are you gazing as if I have left you without understanding? Haven't I sent my spirit that teaches you and shows you all things? Why do you look up at me as if I have not left room for you to understand who I am, my purposes in all things? You gaze at me as if I have left you without the helper. I've told you that it was important for me to go. That my father will send you the helper who is now with you and in you. So why do you gaze as if you have been robbed or won? Or won who has been drunk and does not know the day from the night? I am your loving father. And not once has I forsaken you. Not once will I leave you. I am preparing a table before you. 
in the presence of your enemies. In the presence of your enemies shall you eat, shall you be in the finest raiment before your enemies, and nothing shall by any means come near you. Yes, they will hurt, they will snare, and they will growl. But I have put my mark upon you, and no harm shall come near you. Haven't I heard your cries? Haven't I, haven't I seen your weeping? Your concerns, don't, don't I know? And don't I discern the deep and the inner thoughts? Why are you still gazing? Why are you still gazing? As if it is not I who keepeth thee. My children, I am calling you to be very attentive in this moment and in this season. Therefore, I have prepared everything for you that will get you to the other side. I have spread it out. I have laid it before you. Did I not say, if you ask me for fish, I will not give you a snake or bread or stone? Is it not written in my word? Or do you not understand my word? I have called you to greater measures than where you are. I am the God of more than enough. I am El Shaddai. I am the God of abundance and increase. So test me now. Woo! Test me now. Woo! Test me now and see if I will not open more than windows for you. Oh, you have cried. It's a season of drought. It's a season of warmth. Where is the fresh wind from the valley and the hills? And where is the rain? You have cried out in drought and now I have sent my word to deliver you and to bring you to the place of expectation. So stand firm. For the Egyptians whom you have once seen your enemies, your predators, your assassins, your haters, your opposers, you shall see them no more. I have spoken it. I, the Lord, has spoken it. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Father, we thank you for the word, Lord. I need also to rewind this back that I can listen again when this video is finished. Children of the Most High God, to obey is better than to sacrifice. You know, even when the children were in Egypt, they were so bound up in bondage. Imagine coming out of Egypt and they said to Moses, why did you leave us to perish?
when then you leave us to perish. And many of us say that God, did not come true for us. But the truth is, you were disobedient. You didn't step out in faith. You were prob probably doubtful and unbelieving. Can we be truthful, somebody? Can we boldly go before our Father, somebody, and say, Father, forgive me. For I have erred against you. I have sinned against you in my way of thinking, in my attitudes, in my mannerism, Father. In my whole, I have offended thee, O oh Lord my God. Because your grace is ever present. Forgive me, wash me, cleanse me in the blood of Jesus. Always remember to thank him that I am forgiven. And as far as the east is from the west, our sins are remember no, remembered no more. And remember, try to ask God. Listen, half the time, many, many, many people are struggling in, in many areas. It's because when I say trying to do it ourselves, you want to know how you're trying to do something on your own strength, it's very simple. It's one plus one, it's that simple. When you're doing it, before asking God for his grace. Some religious theology makes it difficult. Oh no, it's that simple. When you're doing something, before asking God for his grace, you're doing it in your own strength. And we can find that too in Proverbs, Proverbs 5, 3, am I right? When he says to acknowledge me in all your ways, you hear? In all, did he say some? Acknowledge me in all. Your ways. And I will direct your path. Didn't he tell us? Didn't he say in all? So when you want to know if you're doing something in your own strength, it's that simple. Are you saying, Father God, I commit this into your hands. Lord, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your wit. Are you doing that? If you're not doing that, you're doing it in your own strength. Because the Lord said to acknowledge him means to, you know, make it known to him what you're about to do. And I've used this scenario and I'll use it again. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and everything in it. The gold and the silver, he just said, is his. The money in the bank, the silver and the gold is his. You want to go and get a loan. God can do things in different ways. I don't rule out the loan, but I'll use this. If you want to go and get a loan, you don't just get dressed. Think this is how much I earn. Let me go down to the bank because you know your credit rating is good. No. You say, if you want to step out in radical faith, you say, Father, the gold and the silver is yours. The earth is yours and everything in it. I'm joint here with Christ. That which is yours is mine. I claim and I take it by force. Lord, I just want you to know what I'm about to do. I'm about now to go to the bank. And take X amount, X amount. The Holy Spirit might say, okay, here's what to do. Don't go now. Go in two weeks time at 12 o'clock. The right person is going to be there and everything is going to go smooth. Suddenly, let's say, on the other hand, the person never done that. They just gone into the bank. And suddenly they come, I don't get it, understand. Why is it that my credit is clean and the bank can lend me the money? Did you acknowledge your father? Did you acknowledge him as he said? Did you acknowledge him? No, you didn't. So why why, why are you so, why is it so strange? Ah, that's what he said. Why are you gazing? So why is it so strange? Right. Okay, why is it so strange that you don't understand? She called Robo Satawa. 
Okay, why is it so strange that you don't understand? Today I put up, there was a word posted about um, reading and studying the Bible. I got to tell you this because if I don't tell you that, I deceive you and there's no truth in me. In your walk and your journey with Jesus Christ, you need, the word is part of him. The word was, was God and the word, was God and the word became, you need to know the word. John 1 1. Thank you, Lord. You need to know the word. You need to study the word. I've never been to a Bible school. This is what I do. Before I pray, I say, Lord, Holy Spirit, thank you for giving me revelation and opening my understanding. That I will not just read this as a book, but I will come away understanding what I have read. And he'll teach you. Look, that's another topic. So we put a we put a we put a weight on that. She kuru 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 ka. No, Lord says, speak it so I will. Look, in some Bible schools, you yes, the Bible is open before you. And what, what it is you're getting teach this theology with man's own interpretation and what they think and feel. Am I against Bible school? God forbid, how can I be? But didn't Jesus challenge the, 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 the Pharisees and the and the and call them? What 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 did he call them? The, the Pharisees and the uh, Sadducees, did he call them what? You hypocrites and these who were well studied. You know, oh, I, I, I need to know it so good. Many, my, well, well, you know, these deep theologians, and huh? what did he call them? They think they know it so well, but this, but they have it all around. Should the Lord tell me to go to a Bible school? I will. I've been seeking him about it. You come right and teach me himself what I need to know. I can't memorize every scripture in the Bible. Like most men of God, you study what you're going to preach before the sermon, and the Lord will show you what chapters, what scriptures, what, what do you know every do you know every scripture in the Bible? No. But when the Holy Spirit comes and that the anointing comes and He turns up, ah, 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 okay, ah, ah, it just flows out of the Spirit of the Oh, we think, hey, we think God is all the way up there. He's in here. That's how close God is. The Holy Spirit. He, he, he's right in here. That's how close he is. Before you say, gee, he, <laughs> he's right in there. God bless you indeed. Um, I pray for those watching all over the world. faith if you got friends at your church be it your pastor be it your leader be it whoever share this video with them because God wants to get them to to another level there's always more listen if God can find a righteous man he'll find a donkey you find an aunt. Maybe you're sitting down outside McDonald's on the table drinking a milkshake and suddenly you see an aunt next to <laughs> you. Imagine an aunt looks up and you say, Hello, I tell you, I tell you, I don't know about you, I'll run. However, what am I saying? You'll find somebody to do it. And truth be it, sometimes we're so stuck in our ways. When my little five-year-old boy comes and tells me something, I listen. What you think I think I'm all that because he's five? I listen as if I'm younger than him. Do we have that spirit to learn and to still enlarge our tents and to take things afresh? Oh, I hear a man of God repenting already before this message is even posted. 
Or do we have that stuck up thing in us? That, oh, me, no, me, no, look, you know what? We have the mind of Christ, but I'm still learning and in the process how to function in the mind of Christ. Because if we say that we know it all, we, we really got the mind and we, thought we lie. If, if that's the case, why is it then that you got problems? Did you say that you, you really fully understand the mind? Yes, we have it, but do you really know? It's like, you know what it is? It's like someone bought a jet and come and say, hey, sister, hey, brother, here's the papers to a jet. I can't say keys. Here's the paper to a jet. God bless you. Bye-bye. God just give me a jet, but I can't fly it. I can't fly it. I've been studying now for the past few years, and because I got this job and did, I am making up the flying hours, so I, I, I still learn it. And every time you learn, you, 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 fly, you need to fly, you know? You see where I'm coming from with this? God bless you indeed. And again, as the Lord said, so I recall, there's so much he wants to say, but I feel the rest he wants to say is for another appointed time. I can feel it bubbling in the spirit, but it's stopping at a specific point, which means it's bubbling, but it's not to bubble over now. God bless you. This is Pablo Jones with Voicing Your Prophetic Voices out here in the UK. Um, you can check the ministry out at www.vypropheticvoices.com or, or Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Pablo J. Jones or Twitter at Prophet Pablo. You want the email too or email? Voicing your prophetic voices at gmail.com. Hey, you want five pounds too? <laughs> God bless you indeed. And it's been a pleasure to be able to bring a word. Um, the Lord just remind me to pray in agreement with you for the fast before I go. So, Father, in the name and in the will of Jesus, according to Matthew 18 19 and the instruction you have given me, specifics and specifically. For your people. Lord, as we come into agreement and as I come into agreement with them, I pray, Father God, that you will release your grace and be, Father God, and you will release your grace that they will persevere, Father, that they will endure the 60 days without nagging, complaining, murmuring, sorry, murmuring, mumbling. Oh, they know that one come from. And every such thing, just quoting those scriptures, just quoting those scriptures, or if you give them another scripture that comes to mind. And all this, thank you, Father, they will not be bringing no needs there, just testing your faithfulness. So, Father, I pray for your grace and the anointing that breaks every yoke, Lord, thank you, Oshika Hama Shatata Isha Makandai Eboshkai Hikama Ishbonai Bashima Bashima Hotamai Ishkanai. Oh, thank you, Lord. I pray, Father God, that as the anointing flows through the TV screen, as the fire of God is present, I decree fire. Woo! And the living God through this TV screen now. Woo! Coming into your home. Father, thank you, Lord. Anoint everyone, oh God. Break every yoke, break every chain, and pop every rope that's been holding your people back and bring them to the place of expectation, oh God, as you have promised. In Jeremiah 29 11, for I know. My plans for you of good and not evil to prosper you and to give you an expected end. Lord, bring them to that place of expectation, oh God. For it's impossible for thee to lie. 
And you are the God who provides all of our needs to your riches and glory, O God Almighty. Are we not much? Are we not much? Or worth not? Are we not worth more than the lilies of the field? Lord, we thank you that you hear us always. Lord, thank you that you're paying close attention and at the sound of my voice, not in my name, nor in my authority, but in the name and in the authority and in the will, which is important, in the will of Jesus Christ, Abba Father, we decree this a done deal, sign, seal, and deliver. Father, we believe that there will be so many testimonies like man has never seen before. To obey is better than the sacrifice. I decree shalom over you on this journey. I decree endurance. I decree faith. I decree it a full package. That will take you to the end. And when you get to the end. <laughs> Thank you. Holy <coughs> Thank you Holy Spirit. <coughs> Sorry. I can't stop it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. not some madman out to the UK. This is the spirit of the living God. That supernatural laughter it pains, but it's good. It's good. The Lord said that when you get to the end, yo, man, yo, yo, you ain't gonna even want to stop. <laughs> you said, your reins are going to be open. <laughs> oh, your canisters, your canisters are going to be widened. <laughs> oh, oh God, God bless you. God bless, God bless you. I've told you how to contact me already. Uh, God bless you indeed. Shalom.